stole my eyeball, but they also stole my dignity, so we have to steal both of them back. A lot of you have been following me for three years. This game is hard. I have gotten to the first boss, but I haven't beaten the first boss. We keep taking the consecutive dash because that's nice. Top hours. Look at all these nerds watching me. Hi, I'm new. Hey there, Delilah. What's it like in New York City? All right, we got all this. We take our extra dash. We take our stick because that's all they give us. And we kill some ants. That's all this game is. We got to kill some ants. Hopefully the music will come. We have a gun. All right, let's go. I haven't been able to kill the first boss yet because this game is pretty hard. I won't lie to you. I can't lie to you. This game is quite a hard one. You don't recover any health inside of a level unless you grab some armor that you can get. Come up, music. Golden case. Reaper charm. Always deal critical hits to low health enemies. That'll be pretty good if I can get the boss to low health, because that means I'm getting a guaranteed crit on them. But what do they call a critical hit? This is not the way to go, but I'm still going to go here. My time playing this game, I've come to realize this is the armor. I don't think it matters if you even clear all these levels. These enemies are incredibly annoying. Alright. I'm blocking health again. Of course I am. I'll just go right there, because I'm blocking the health. I don't want to block the health. Uh, chance of negating damage. That's nice. This is why I should just become a full-time VTuber. Then I won't block anything again. Or I'll block everything with my giant tits. You ever notice these VTubers? They have... Uh, Unrealistic body standards. Can we get a a normal size, a normal looking VTuber? Good morning, River Bunny. How are you doing? Can we watch one VTuber at a time? Do you count PNG tubers as VTubers? game one png tuber so you don't watch dire fragon is your one v tuber sleepy shy or P png tuber you might you mentioned earlier about content talk how do you set up your you record for Let's Play channel whilst also streaming. I locally record everything and then uh, I cut it up into parts. Every single stream in my head, I have a rough idea of what I'm doing for the day and how long I want every Let's Play channel video to be. 
like this one i probably want this to be 45 minutes i'm already locally recording it i just locally record everything and that's it and then i'll uh, try to get a good ending point for it and then once i'm done with that we just go on to the next one can you locally record this I'm trying to explain content talk here. And then on the Let's Play channel, I upload everything to YouTube and usually just copy what the last video was of whatever game it is. Like, copy the information of the last... Like, let's just say I'm uploading this on the YouTube, which I will do. Uh, I'll copy the last video's information, just change the title, upload a thumbnail, we're good to go, schedule it, and we're done. Stream something and record the raw gameplay with nothing on top of it. Uh, uh, there are some filters on OBS that allow you to have it only record one source instead of scene. But that adds a lot on your GPU or CPU. That adds a lot of pressure on it. Uh, I will say, the last time I checked Streamlabs OBS has the local recording where you could only record one source as well if you wanted to but it's not as much strain compared to the filters you have to add for obs but it, i still don't think it's worth street locally streaming on streamlabs because streamlabs sucks streamlabs obs what do you do with old footage once you're done with it i just keep it on my pc uh sometimes we'll use it for a video and then i just have it if I showed you my stream recordings right now, my you would see how messy my PC is. I have two five terabyte hard drives that are getting full. One of them's already full. You have no idea what's happening now. A roguelite is happening. So like all the footage of Cyberpunk, let's just say Cyberpunk because Cyberpunk was a game we played uh Last year, I still have all the cyberpunk recordings and everything. They're just sitting on my PC. In a folder called, like, Cyberpunk 2.0. Hey, bun. This gun is actually quite good as well. Ooh, katana as well. We might be having a run. We might be having a run of all time. We got ourselves a great gun. Cyber Yuck. Every thumbnail I have Green make, she names it. So Green has like a little commission folders for me because Green makes me a lot of thumbnails. And every thumbnail that they make, they name it something Yuck. They somehow just sneak the Yuck name in there. You want ice cream? You don't want to leave your apartment? Let's do it. Fire Dragon doesn't DoorDash it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. DoorDash ice cream. Remember during 5 5 Subathon, every night this dude was DoorDash and Ice Cream. I hate that enemy. I can't remember. Is it two levels before the boss or is it three? I feel like I gotta use my guns more often. Because this gun is definitely very good. I think it's two. Two levels then, boss. Yeah, okay. I haven't played in a couple days. I'll know I'm rich when I can DoorDash ice cream every night. <laughs> That's how you know you're well off with money. Also, hey, Doog. Don't know if I said hey and unexplainably weird. Hey. Hey, gamers. Nothing wrong with DoorDash, but please tip your drivers in the place you buy it from if that's a thing. Because these delivery services are handy, but awful. Well, I mean, I always tip the drivers, but you can't tip the place that you're getting it to, I don't think. Or you're getting your order from. I don't think you can tip the business. It takes a little while to reload, but it's definitely worth it. I try. I've been really good with my eating lately, which I'm always proud of. I've been eating pretty good. 
And when I do get DoorDash, I, I make sure it's not like McDonald's. I get like something that won't make me hate myself. Definitely not healthy, but I won't hate myself. Got 70 health. You need sweets. I mean, you gotta buy more sweets then. You gotta start buying more sweets, Emmy. Four weeks without fast food? Good job. That's always hard to do. Especially if you uh, are more used to fast food in your diet. It's hard to quit out of. Hey, devil. Ah, uh, yeah. Thanks for lurking with dinner. The snap games are definitely interesting. But uh, we're still in the 80s, which is what matters to me. We're still in the 80s. Activate for a deflection field. Activate? What do you mean? Oh. I want to save that. Boy, good tomorrow. I also was going to take a rest day from the gym today. And then you guys hit the weekly goal, and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to be able to go to the gym tomorrow because I'm streaming for 12 hours. So I was like, fuck it. Let's go to the gym today instead. So I did it. And then I took a shower because I'm not wearing my dirty gym cap, as you can tell. I'm wearing a normal hat, not my sweaty Canada hat. Look at me not being disgusted. Ah, shit. I hit the bug. Uh, another katana. Doesn't do anything. The ice cream is calling you. I wouldn't really consider ice cream fast food. It's ice cream. You know? I don't know what that was, but I'm leaving. Browsing ice cream just for out of curiosity. Was it expensive? Order a McFlurry. Don't order a McFlurry. Angry Cason. Critical Fang. Increases critical hit damage. That'll be good against weaker enemies. Uh, Extra projectile damage when near an enemy. That'll be good as well. Ice cream isn't fast food. But I wouldn't... If you order anything from McDonald's, you're probably consuming like 10 times the amount of calories that meal has, whatever it usually is. All right, I've never beat this boss. Let's see if we can do it. We got here in 13 minutes, so we're doing we're doing pretty good. Yeah, yeah, you took my eyeballs. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. I've already lost all my health, basically.
Oh my god. Well, would you look at that? Yeah, we lost again. I know, I know. He gets faster. Yeah, every phase he gets faster. Every phase it gets faster, man. It's kind of annoying. Like, I don't mind a hard game, but when the first boss, dude, I can't even beat it. It feels like it's such a bullet sponge as well, you know? Maybe that's the intention, but I don't know how you guys feel, but I hate. Like, why is this first boss such a bullet sponge? I haven't gotten any upgrades that allow me to increase my damage. I have some critical hit increase damage, but it's only like 8% chance of having a critical hit. Maybe it's just me bitching as well, but... There is no damage increases. I, I'm trying to get more health, but everything also does a lot of damage to me. So it's kind of annoying, this game. It's kind of annoying. But that's also me complaining. It's a classic. Me complaining. Also, that soap shield didn't do anything because I hit LB plenty of times and it did literally nothing. It felt useless. Also, DQ, I don't think I said hi. I hope you're doing well. If I did say hi, well, hello again. Thanks for tuning in to another night of me. Uh, Radiant Emerald increases reload speed. Not horrible. back. Critical Fang increases critical hit damage again. Have I played Hollow Knight? I have, but it's not on my Let's Play channel because I didn't have a Let's Play channel when I made it. And I feel like it's one of those games that I think I should give another playthrough to. And do a lot more. Because I think I got like 86% completion, 76% completion on my playthrough. But I think I should definitely give it another playthrough. Just so I can have it on the Let's Play channel as well. Hollow, Hollow Knight is a fantastic game. Fifty percent damage to enemies that have more health than the wielder. Oh, that's great. What other game you should have in your Let's Play channel? Uh, I wish Elden Ring was in there. I'm trying to think of other games that I've played that I feel like would be well received on the Let's Play channel. Hollow Knight, Elden Ring, probably all the Metroid games would be cool. But I fucking beat those Metroid games so damn fast. I finally have a weapon that could do me some cooking. Another Elden Ring playthrough? I hope. Uh. 
Oh man, I'm gonna freaking die here. Damp shirt. Critical charge over time. Burn roguelites be like. I guess I'll ask, what game do you guys wish was on the Let's Play channel that I potentially played? I, I can't really think of any off the top of my head because I've played so many fucking games. Kirby series. If only I was a good streamer then and had the Let's Play channel for Kirby. Because I have played all those goddamn Kirby games. I only 100%ed, I think, like three of them, though. Marvel Snap. Oh, boy, do I got news for you, game nerd. Dot on Pocky. I don't know what that is. Have you ever played The Messenger? I have not. I feel like I've heard of The Messenger, but I couldn't tell you what it is. You want to see those? Elden Ring. Elden Ring was the first Souls game that I actually uh, fully beat. I did no summons through Elden Ring, throughout the whole game of Elden Ring. Didn't do any summons, and I didn't wear a shirt for 90% of it. I wore a shirt once I beat Melenia. I wore her shirt in honor of beating her ass. My partner played Sekiro. I don't think she ever beat it, though. But she started it. Your mom brought you a Costco glizzy. It's a real mom right there. Don't know what critical charge is over time, but we have it. I tried Bloodborne, but couldn't really get into it. You like watching Souls games because you never play them? I do want to give Dark Souls another try one day because I played it like six years ago and I never beat it. I, didn't, I couldn't get past the gargoyles. I was a bad streamer then six years ago. Do I like Elden Ring? Yeah, it's, an all, it's a fantastic game. One of the best games I've ever played. My playthrough was 98 hours long, I think. 99 hours long. My one playthrough of it. Mushu just threw through every Elden Ring boss. Yeah, she's been streaming out. I know Mushu fucking loves Souls-like games. She loves them. And I love watching her play them. Level 1 Liza P right now. A lot of people like Liza P. Tried Dark Souls but never finished it. Now, are there any other games you people would want on the Let's Play channel? I guess it could be a game that I have played that's not on there. Or any games that you want. I saw some Samurai Bringers. I saw Kirby. Increases weight. Wange, weapon, wange. Borderland, let's play when? Dude, that would take so long. Halo? I did do a Halo marathon before the Let's Play channel existed, so there's no Halo on there. But I have played all the Halo games. Well, not all of them. We beat Halo 1, 2, 3, ODST, and Reach on Legendary mode.
Monster Hunter? Yeah, probably not. I've seen Monster Hunter. It doesn't look like my type of game. Doesn't look like my type of stream game, I'll say. Oh, we got 40 freaking health left. We need a Borderlands playthrough. I do love Borderlands. Is God of War in the Let's Play? Uh, Ragnarok is on the Let's Play channel, but not 2018. Ragnarok was actually the first single player game on the Let's Play channel. When I made the Let's Play channel, the first few things on there was a Darkest Dungeon Blood Moon run, uh, God of War Ragnarok, and Shotgun Chest, the final checkmate. Okami's probably right. I barely had the patience for Elden Ring, but I got through it. Monster Hunter would have potential on Burgle, but Burgle barely has time to stream. Uh, Bayonetta is not on the Let's Play channel, no. That was one of the last games I played before the Let's Play channel existed. Because I played the... The Let's Play channel existed right after the subathon. You know that 21-day subathon back in October and September of 2022, I believe? 2022? Was it 2022? That subathon? Either way, I think it was 2022. And then a month after that subathon ended, or maybe, yeah, a month and a half after the subathon ended, I made a Let's Play channel, which I should have done a long time ago, to be honest. I know, Shark, I should have done it a long time ago. I have not played Devil May Cry, though. No. Despite Devil May Cry being a lot like Bayonetta, obviously, I have never consumed it. I'm just trying to get the hell out of here. Get me the hell out of here. I got 20 health. <sighs> Better late than never. Listen, guys. You have a 50-hour Stardew playthrough going, and a lot of you don't want it to end. Once Stardew ends, our freaking block of games can come back. Am I going to play the Elden Ring DLC? Hopefully. It comes out pretty freaking soon, doesn't it? A couple months. You don't give a shit about Stardew? Yeah, but I do. I gotta have two kids with my wife. Uh, I think that's automatic. Those are weapons. Don't really need a weapon. I think I got three damn shirts right now. Elden Ring and Sekiro. I've seen a little bit of Sekiro. I've watched Barb. I watch a good amount of Barbarous King, and I, so I've seen a lot of Souls-like, because I know he's fucking into those as well. Sims? God, I'm not trying to sleep on stream. You kidding me? The Sims? Ugh, God. Listen, you got one. You got your cozy game of the year with freaking Stardew and Manami Lane already. We don't need anything else. Sims is a game I play when I don't feel like... Actually, my game that I shut my brain off with is Balatro right now. I play 30 minutes a week, basically.
I keep getting hit by that damn thing. I'm not gonna win this run either. Dude, this first boss is just too much of a fucking bullet sponge. Is this a Metroidvania about ants? No, this is a roguelike. And it's kind of like uh, Noida, Zaz. Also good to see you, Zaz. <laughs> I wish this was a fucking Metroidvania. Finally want to run with every deck in the game in Balatro. Oh my god. Every deck? I've almost done that. I have to get two more decks, I think. No, I actually might need to just win with the deck that you unlock with the gold. Which means I'd have to win a run on gold stake, which I have not done. Don't ignore you. Congrats on Infinite Cat Loaf. I'm not ignoring you. I'm just having a conversation with other people. Don't get jealous, little chatter. Have I heard of Biomorph? I have. Isn't that a Metroidvania that just came out? Another Metroidvania that just came out that Biomorph reminds me of because of the name. I watched Dangle play a little Biomorph. It was Biogun. That's another Metroidvania that just came out. I'm honestly getting sick of this game because I can't beat the first freaking boss. A classic game series, aka Little Big Planet. Ah, I don't have a way to play Little Big Planet. And everything is so expensive, man. I can't even get past the first boss. Maybe I suck. You can buy a PS3 for like 30 bucks. Doesn't mean I want to. This game seems ass. It's not ass, but... It's definitely not very... Easy. I'll say that. That's the one thing I knew about the games as was you rescue cats. Like the grubs in Hollow Knight. We were just talking about Hollow Knight. Bird just sucks. Kayvon, I want you to buy this game and beat the first boss within three hours. I'll give you three hours to beat the first boss. Let me know how you do. Actually, you can't buy this game. It's not released until tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to try one more run, man, but I'm getting sick of it. Getting sick of it. Wait, how the fuck did I join? Wait a minute. Uh, dude, I, ac I accidentally freaking kick a player. Kick player two. Yes. Who the hell's player two? How the hell did they join? I accidentally got another player in. I'm still waiting for more information on, uh... Crypt Custodian. This has multiplayer. It does. I, I will say the multiplayer was one of the more positive-looking things about it. Maybe the multiplayer makes the bosses easier. Because the boss in single-player, uh... Is a bullet sponge. They were going to carry you. It was me, motherfucker. I accidentally hit goddamn tab on the keyboard. Because I was showing you how many hours I had. <laughs> Sorry, I kicked myself. Alright, last try. Thought it was online multiplayer. I imagine it is online multiplayer or multiplayer with friends at least, but nobody else has the game besides other creators. Maybe I just really suck. I honestly think I could just really suck. There's some games I just straight up suck at. Most games I just straight up suck at. And then I complain about them. And then everyone's just like, whatever, bro, you just suck at it. And then they never play the game to prove if I sucked at it or if it was, like, genuinely the game's problem or a skill issue. So we never know. If Noida is harder than this, I don't think I would like Noida. 
Invincibility after taking enough damage. After taking enough damage? What is enough damage? Can we get some numbers here? You're very bad at a lot of games. Me too. And it sucks being bad at a lot of games because you guys come in here thinking I'm going to be really good at a lot of games. And then I surprise you and I suck at most of them. The only game I got on you guys that I'm good at is freaking Darkest Dungeon. That's what I have. I have Darkest Dungeon. <laughs> I have no expectations, but you somehow lowered it. Thank you. What's up, Prod? Good morning. Also, hey, 1-2. How are you? You've gotten a lot better at video games. Can you, uh... Lend me some of your powers of getting good at games? Maybe this weapon will be pretty good. This seems to be good every time I hit something. It shoots out a little specter at them. Maybe I need this. Did I change my lighting? No, if I wear blue, I look a little more orange because of the way my camera is set up. I had a, I enabled a setting with my camera like four years ago, and I never learned how to fix it. So if I wear blue, it always makes me look a little more Oompa Loompa. The Elden Ring, Hollow Knight, Cuphead, and Sekiro in the last year. Cuphead? That's a rough game. I've seen that game get played. I don't want to experience it myself, let me tell you. Chance to not consume ammo. Feel like you're a pretty good gamer? I feel like I have my moments, you know? Like, there's some things I'm definitely good at. Like Kaizo Iron Mom. Brute force your way through most. I'm bad. I, I sometimes will be stubborn and brute force my way through games. Just to prove a point, but doesn't mean I'm good. It also depends on the game. Ah, oh, the stupid shield soap. I activated that last time. It did fucking nothing. That is the demo. Is this the demo? No, this is the full game. You just we just won't know it's the full game because I can't get past the first goddamn boss. You're good at games? I appreciate it, Zaz. I do kind of miss... I will say this. One negative about being addicted to Marvel Snap is uh, I, do, I feel like I don't play as many, like, indie games anymore because of my Marvel Snap addiction. <laughs> More like the small little indie games that I was always playing. I do kind of miss those. I wish I played more Metroidvanias. But... Soap is worthless. Why buy soap when you can just buy body wash and a mufa? Mm. What is this? Four leaf clover? What does that increase like damage? Oh, chance of negating damage. It hasn't done anything for me the times I've had it. Do I try Hades early access when it comes out? I was watching Chloe play a little bit of Hades 2 in my break, uh, like the 45 minutes I had to sit on my PC and do some work stuff. I had Chloe on in the background watching a little bit of Hades 2. Oh man, I'm excited for it. I am excited for it. I I, I was watching Halion last night doing it a little bit. You got the tech test and you're happy with it. It looks really good. It looks really good. I'm glad you got the tech test. I'm glad you're enjoying it as well. It looks really good. 
I'm not gonna like get super upset if I never get into the tech test as well. Like it's not that big of a deal. It's gonna come out eventually to early access and everyone's gonna be playing it. So I I I'll be patient with it. But I'm glad uh, a lot of people seem to be enjoying it from what I've heard. You wanna know what other gods will be in the game? I saw Artemis is still in the game, which makes me happy as an Artemis fan. 29 months of Burr. I know it's baby hours, but I'm proud to be a young and Burr fan. Burnatic, Burster, IDK Sleep, I S H R U G. Jake, a youngster Burr, you're saying 29 months isn't a long time? I greatly appreciate the support for two and a half years because my content has changed so much in the past two and a half years. Granted, my content changes so much in the past week. Uh, every week it changes, but I appreciate the continued support. Enjoy those emotes. Also, hey, Lane, how are you doing? Content creators could sign up to get a key via key mailer, uh, which I did do, but I just didn't get one. I'm hoping one day I'll just open up Steam and it'll be like, you're in the Hades 2 tech technical test or whatever, but... You know, like Kayvon said, the game's going to be in early access after the technical test or pretty soon after. So I'm patient. If I don't get in it, it's not a big deal. I know it would probably be cool to be in the technical test because there's not as many people in it. And it's like great to get more viewers because you're in the technical test. But like, I'm patient. It's not a big deal. And it was in your library. It just popped up. Maybe it's in my library right now and I don't even realize it. Hey, Hades 2, where are you? Oh, it's not here. Well, I'll tell you I'm shocked, but I'm not. <laughs> Hades isn't even in there because it's under my favorite games. Try searching it. It's not there. <laughs> it's not there, trust me. I would know if I was in the technical test for Hades. I feel like you probably get an email about it as well. Games I'll never play folder. Now that's filled with a bunch of garbage that I don't even know. I think it's filled with a bunch of stuff from Cass Library that she doesn't even know where she got it from. Probably Humble Bundle. Because Cat and I share a library. That's how serious Cat and I's relationship is. We share a library and we have two cats together. Maybe I need to kill these. Just like go in these little biomes more. Okay, this is horrible. I'm not going in here because I get 37 health. I feel like if I can get past this area, this will be my best chance to win this, to win the, the boss fight. With this weapon. And the bolt action rifles back. What is this game? This game is a game called Ants Took Your Eyeball. It's a roguelike game where I've I, I wish I could tell you more about it, but I can't get past the first boss. Uh, it's incredibly hard. I can consistently get to the first boss, but they are so goddamn tanky, and you take so much goddamn damage, it's kind of annoying. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna say it's a skill issue. Might just be one of those games I'm not good at. And you just... It's kind of like Noida. You could play multiplayer if you wanted to, but I, uh... The game's not even out yet, so obviously, uh... I'm not playing multiplayer. Because there's nobody on. Take care. Have a good weekend, Orion. Thank you for hanging out.
The meta progression also gets quite expensive, and it doesn't really feel that impactful. Minus the, uh... Well, it's, some of it's impactful, but it's not, like, crazy impactful. Which I guess if it was crazy impactful, I'd be destroying the runs. Which one was Noida? One I've never played. It's like a ma it's like a magic kind of thing. It kind of looks like this if you look it up. Oh my god. Uh, but Noida is known for being incredibly hard as well. Some would say Noida is probably harder than this game. But I've never played it. Fiend doesn't share his library with you. Then it ain't that serious. I'm kidding. A joke. Increases magazine capacity. Bosses like grief terms? Bosses like grief terms. Uh, that was Ravita. That one was Ravita. That game wasn't crazy hard. That was a good one, though. Trying to cause problems? Bitch, I am the problem. How to share Steam libraries? Uh, usually you do it with someone you live with. I think, like... I don't even know how to do it anymore. I have Cat do that shit whenever we had to do it. Yeah, I share my library with her, but she's never played a game off my library, and I've never played a game off hers, I don't think, besides Ori. I think I played Ori in the Blind Forest off her library, like, four years ago, because she was stuck in America, so, like, I knew I'd be able to play it. Just died to Hades twice in a row. Hey, at least you got there. Hades is a hard game. I think you could bum off the homies, but... I, I think, uh, last I checked, you can't even play a game in their library if they are in a game at all. Which is like, okay. They might have changed that, though. I can't remember if they did. Alright, let's see if I can do this this time. Third time's the charm, right? Oh, there's the goddamn shield. Oh, I beat the boss. There we go. Okay, I finally beat the boss. Jesus. I finally did it. And he gives you 500 meta progression. Okay, the meta progression's not too bad if you're actually good at the game. Phew! What a fight. Hamo thought we were going to die for sure. We've died for three and a half hours. So if you're good at the game, the meta progression's not too bad because you get 500 off a boss. And it only takes 10 minutes, 15 minutes to get to the boss. All right. I did it. We don't have to put this game on the back shelf yet. We'll see how bad Area 2 is. Overgrown Outpost.
Trident Ant. Projectile Pearson plus one. Quite nice. If Burke can do that, finally, you can beat any game you want. Yeah, any game you ever wanted to beat, you can do it. Just watch me do this, and then you'll get all the encouragement you need. Everything you want, everything you need. We do a faster reload and a bigger magazine, which is kind of nice. Found a shiny and pokey rogue. Oh, the Pokemon Emerald Roguelite. Kill it, says they want. Kinetic Charger, Sniper Scope, Beetle Ring. We'll do the Sniper Scope because that gets a uh, range up. More range is always good. Oh, this is a different game. Oh. Water type Paldean Tauros. I don't know if there was a water type Tauros. TikTok, a random person. 7.9 thousand people liked the video. I don't give a shit about a video that other people like to TikTok. I don't open the app. You know I don't open the app. So stop trying to get me on there. You will never get me on there. You will never get me on there. I have the bubble. Why not turn notifications off? I've unsubscribed via email like eight times or have turned them off and they always just somehow come back on. Did I beat the boss? I did. The one time I was like, okay, if I'm not beating this boss, I might put the game down. I got a pretty good run that maybe I worked out in my head, and now we actually beat the boss. I don't think I've ever seen this dice. Hidden enemies drops critical orbs. What do critical orbs do? You know, educate me. Chance of negating damage. Getting that multiple times would be pretty good. You can get the same item multiple times, so if you stack up a bunch of four-leaf clovers, eventually you're just unstoppable, right? Can I see what I have? I have three four-leaf clovers, so there's an 18% chance I don't take damage. Gives an 8% chance of completely negating income and damage. Well, stacking it three times. If I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a math wizard, but eight times three is not 18. It's 24. Did you miss it? You were getting your pizza? Yes, but hopefully someone clipped it. You guys, I will say this again. You should definitely start clipping more because I might have Kayvon start making monthly clip montages. So best of burr, insert month, insert year. So the more clips, the better. You'll get a nice little shout out in the video that says clipped by blank in the game and all that. So start clipping. Kayvon, you got the job. Well, I told Kayvon what I wanted basically before I started streaming and was like, hey, if you want to do this, let me know. They sent me a message back. I see it. But I haven't been able to look at it because I've been streaming. I assume it's not Kayvon saying, fuck you, you piece of shit, or anything like that. I assume it's a nice message saying maybe yes or politely declining. 
because they're in the chat, so I assume it's not what I said the first time. Oh, this is annoying. I've already lost 13 health. Fuck you, you piece of shit. Damn! I respect it. Believe it or not, I do. Okay, that's an annoying enemy. The diving beetle. Why is there water under here? I have already lost half my health, and we are nowhere near. You're very professional when it comes to stuff like that. I try to be professional as well. I like to think I am pretty professional. A large wisp. I am about to die. I may be crying in the club as we speak. A gun shrimp. I have 29 health. The shield did not really do much. The gun is very important. I am so dead, man. I am dead. I cannot climb through that. I can fall through it, but I can't jump back up again. Uh, hey. Oh my god, what's up, Townie? Hey, Bursty. Do you got anything new for me? You still have nothing new? Choose two trinkets to get the start at the start of each run. Two trinkets at the start of each run? Shit, I'll take two trinkets at the start of each run. Well, we beat the boss, so I won't put this game down yet. Maybe I could beat it again. Maybe I won't. But we'll see the next time.